Alright, so I'm going to show you how to install and build CASL. First thing you got to do is open up your browser and then search Wolf SSL. And that's us right there up top. Alright, and there we are. Brings you to our homepage. Then just go to download, and then information section, and then we're going to need CASL 3.0 and the license agreement. And I accept, download, then we bring it up, you just got to choose where to extract it to. So I'm just going to put it in my documents and then just replace what I have there. Then you're going to need to open up a terminal and make sure you have GCC and make installed. So let's do that. sudo apt git install GCC and make. And then the administrative password. And then since mine's fully updated, it's pretty quick, but if not, it would just take a little bit to install. And then we need to find go to the directory where we extracted CASL. So CD into it. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is configure, and you have a bunch of different options for doing that, like you can enable debugging or sniffer or PSK rabbit, there's a bunch of different options and so to figure out what all those are you should dash dash help and it'll bring up this huge list of all the things you can do with it like key gen, certs, PSK like I said, you know all that so for that, just basic configure, and it'll run through building the system, the hardware and everything, or software. Alright, as soon as that's done, you're going to get this list of uh, features that are either enabled or disabled, like Sniffer is currently disabled. Same with a bunch of these other ones because we didn't turn any of them on. But all right, and after that, we need to make the files, and so this is going to be making our executables and everything. And then we need a sudo make install, and the sudo is because it just adds to some of our libraries. All right, and then after that, we we could do a make clean and that just cleans out the repository and frees up all the space uh, or we can make test which does both the uh, test suite and API test and tells us what's going on there looks like they both passed uh, you can also test the cryptography library that's just ctau crypt and then you can do a benchmark test and so that's just the benchmarking speeds and then you can also just completely test the cryptography library and that's uh... cytocrypt test test cytocrypt and so that just check that out and then you can do the full test of test suite test. So that also runs the cryptography test plus a basic client server communication that quits and checks to make sure both the encryptions are the same. And you can also do just the basic uh, API or unit test. And that's unit.test. Oops. Tests. Unit. Dot test. 
there we go. So that's just the API tests. And then there's our example server and client. And so that would just run the server, but there's also a bunch of different options with both of those. So if you do dash help, it brings you up the different little commands that you can put in with it. So for example, if I wanted to make the server use non-blocking sockets, it'd be dash capital N. Or if we just want to run the server, we do that with the server running and bring up another terminal. And then do samples client. And then normally when you're doing the client, you have to type in the IP address that you want to connect to. But uh, since we're just doing local, it just does that automatically. It connects to local by default, so all we have to do is run. And then you can see the server received a message from the client, and the, the client also received a message from the server. We also have another type of server and client, and those are the echo servers, an echo client. Alright, so the server's running, and then again with the client, normally you'd have to type in the IP but by default it does local so we don't need to and so the difference between these is the original the just basic server and client uh, communicate once and then both shut down whereas the echo server and client the echo server stays open for multiple connections and the echo client can send in multiple um, strings so if we write hi that's the output that we just typed out and then the echo client just returns back what was given to it so then the server prints it out here so if we type something we're gonna get it twice but you can also send commands to the echo server like quit and it shuts down the server and the client so those are the basics of CASL and how to install it